Hey everyone, Ranger Claire and I are back this week. And if you notice, uh, two weeks ago when we were last on screen, these red buds were just budding out, but look at them now. They are in full bloom and we thought that we'd take advantage of this spot and uh, show you guys what they look like. And that's just two weeks later. Um, and there's a lot of red buds blooming all along the lower parts of the drive. Um, so you guys are gonna definitely see those sprouting. They're so pretty, especially against the lime greens that you can see as well. Um, we and thought, the dogwoods yeah, popping the as dog well. Woods. That creamy, Absolutely. creamy white with the red bud and then the lime greens of the new growth. It's, it's quite a gorgeous drive right now. It it's my is. favorite, my favorite time of the year. Absolutely. So we are kicking off National Park Week. And <laughs> that begins tomorrow on our fee-free day, mm -hmm. uh, April 17th. So um, National Park Week is kind of a celebration of all parks and they're just encouraging you to get out and experience a park near you. It's so good for your mental health and your yep. physical health to just get out and hike and um, learn something new and go experience all the wildflowers that we have blooming in the park right now, especially in those lower elevations again. Um, and then we also have uh, some videos coming out next week. Mm -hmm. And we have our National Junior Ranger Day and some other Junior Ranger things that we have to announce. Yep, it's gonna be an exciting and very, very busy week, but let's start with a couple of tips for visiting. Um, we've got lots of people coming to the park, so we wanna remind you that the bears are out. <laughs> yeah. So we need to really pay attention to um, our food storage and make sure that you're keeping food away from bears, whether you're hiking, picnicking, camping, there are ways to store your food um, and you need to need to be sure that you're paying close attention because they are out and about. Oh yeah, there's a, um, something else we want to share is that we had a lot of rain this yep. past week and over the weekend. And so that means that some of our stream crossings are way up. Uh, actually on Cedar mm -hmm. Run, we had someone report that the stream crossing was waist high. Wow. So we really encourage you all to use your best judgment there is no shame if you have to turn around mid hike to go back because it's just, you know, safety right. is, is number one in our park. So we really want to make sure you guys are using your best judgment when you're out there on your hikes. So definitely, definitely turn around. Safe. Yeah, yep. <laughs> definitely. Yep. So back to all of the excitement yeah. <laughs> for National Park Week. Um, one of the things that we're going to be doing on Saturday is launching our new virtual junior ranger program. So we know that lots of you have come to the park and gotten your junior ranger book and gone around the park and filled that out and done the activities and attended a ranger program and then been sworn in as a national junior mm -hmm. ranger for Shenandoah. Um, and that's awesome and we hope you will continue to do that if you haven't already. But for those of you who might not be able to get to the park, we'll have a new virtual junior ranger program. So if you go to our website, www nps.gov slash shin right there on the front page on saturday you will see the virtual junior ranger program and there are some activities and then you watch a video of one of our um, virtual ranger programs and then we have a swearing in yep. ceremony and then you can download your virtual junior ranger badge it's all right there on the page so we hope that um, all of you will participate in our new virtual junior ranger program we're super excited to get this launched yep we also have our app that's going out this week yes um, so the national park service is launching a new app and it's pretty exciting because it's all the parks in one app so you only have to download one app and you have all 400 plus national park wow. service units um, apps once you do that um, be sure that you download the offline content in settings because that will allow you to use the app in places like Shenandoah where you don't have consistent cell coverage so you can still find all the information that's included in the app if you download that offline content now some of you may already have the Shenandoah app so know that this new app replaces that one so go ahead and download the new one um, because the, the old Shenandoah only app will be going away very soon. Mm -hmm. So we hope that you'll download the new one. And then of course, 
to Shenandoah as one of your favorites <laughs> and, um, and continue to use our app. It's a great way to explore the park. It's a great way to plan your visits um, and, and all of the facilities and the information about those right there at your fingertips. And something else that is online and is digitally provided are our passes. So that's an excellent way to come prepared um, for your visit in the park. So you can go onto recreation.gov and you have a list of all passes that are available. And if you go ahead and purchase one online, then when you get to the entrance station, you can just so show your pass and show your ID and then head on through. So it'll make it a lot easier. We have Lost Mountain Wayside opening and Big Meadows Lodge on Friday, April 23rd. So we have more visitors coming, I'm sure, to, mm -hmm. to enjoy those uh, venues. And then campgrounds. Yep. <laughs> campgrounds busy, busy, busy. are very, very busy. Yep. So currently they are first come, first serve, meaning that you have to be there to get a campsite. Um, we are accepting reservations after May 1st. They're full for weekends in May, and I think in June even, they're yep. filling up really quickly. So make sure you take advantage of going on to recreation.gov to plan your trip, um, especially if you want a campsite in that mid to late summer. So you can be sure that you have somewhere to stay when you yep. come here. You need to plan, plan ahead, way yeah, ahead this plan year. Ahead. We're, we're very popular on the weekends, in particular in the campgrounds. Yeah. So Claire, we also had um, a watercolor workshop. I'm so excited. That we are going to release uh, next week. Right. A few days during next week. And our first one was with Betty Gatewood. Mm -hmm. So um, each day, I think Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're gonna have a video from this watercolor workshop. The first one will go over uh, parts of a flower. Um, the second one will be about materials and resources you can use uh, when making your illustration. Right. Uh, the third one's practice because practice makes perfect. It's always an essential step when you're doing anything. And then on Thursday, we will release the final video, which will be your final illustration with Betty. And she is so wonderful. You she guys really are really is. gonna love it. It's yep. kind of like a Bob Ross kind of feeling <laughs> to it. So it's very serene and calming and it's perfect to have on. They're pretty short clips, but they give you everything that you need to know if you want to make an illustration for, um, to share. Um, it's a great actually... way, yeah, and it's a great way to, to capture those spring ephemerals, you yeah. know, those things that, that are coming and are so gorgeous, but then will be gone. One of my favorites of Betty's um, own watercolors is of the red bud. Yep. Um, and so, so yeah, she goes over how to, how to capture those. Mm -hmm. And then um, if, you, if you attend Betty's workshops and then you want to um, practice some of the things that she teaches you, we would love to see the results. So what we have done is we have created a special section on our um, Flickr page. So if you go to our Flickr page and make sure it's Shenandoah's official Flickr page, then you will see under groups, you click on that and it will take you to the wildflower inspired, um, it's spring inspired wildflower art. And you can upload whatever you come up with um, based on what you learned from Betty. So we're excited to have a whole gallery to share with everyone. And we hope that you'll not only participate in Betty's workshops, but also then upload your work uh, so that um, everybody can see it on our Flickr page. Awesome. I'm so excited to see those. Me too. Me too. <laughs> so earlier this week, we were with Ranger Mara at the Madison Run Fire Road. Mm -hmm. And man, as we were driving there, you could really see the green up yeah. happening. It was just creeping up the mountain. It was really in the valley, but you could see it going up the mountain. It was so cool. So you know that spring is here and warmer temps are around and they're staying, thank goodness. I'm so done <laughs> so with the cold. So different from the last time we were I in know. this spot so where it was chilly. snow on the mountain. Yeah, <laughs> oh goodness. So Mara made some new discoveries and some familiar. Um, we're going to catch those in the next video. You can follow along in that premiere. So thank you all so much for joining us and we'll see you again soon. See you soon.